We are Heather and Paul Christie. And for over 12 years, we've worked with executives and entrepreneurs to accelerate change in every aspect of their business. Because we are in the fastest paced business environment that anyone has ever seen before. So join us for the Evolve to Win Show. One of the biggest challenges that any of us face right now in business is making sure that we have enough time to focus on the priorities to get the job done, right? To achieve the kind of results that you really want to achieve. I was just having a coaching conversation this past week, and one of the executives that I was working with was sharing with me that he was feeling stressed out, overwhelmed, too much to do, not enough time to do it. He said, you know, I don't have trouble being there, being present, helping and supporting my employees, but where I really struggle is getting my work done. They're in the midst of going through a massive transformation in their company. So they've got a new technology that is just basically a new platform in the entire company. And that's really pulling a lot of people away from what they would typically do in a day. So he was really feeling the stress and the pressure of this new change that's coming upon him. And so I asked him, I said, how often are you spending dedicated time focusing on the issues that you need to focus on? Focusing on your role, on your responsibilities. And I'm not talking about your role as a leader and supporting others. I'm talking about just getting your work done. And he said that he wasn't. He just actually wasn't getting to that except for nights and weekends because he wasn't setting aside that time during the day. So I'm going to go through the coaching session we had, and I'm going to ask the questions that I asked of him for you to ask of yourself. So first question was, do you believe that you have the opportunity in your role to actually dedicate time that's just focused on your work? That means, do you have the ability to basically close your door or put on a do not disturb sign for the rest of the world where no one can communicate with you so that you can have focused time to get the things done that you need to get done in your role. So for my client, the answer was yes, he did believe that he had the opportunity to do that. He said, but I haven't been doing it and I'm not exactly sure how I will. So first things first, you have to make sure that you have the belief that you can do this. Now, if there are any of you watching who say, nope, in my environment, I have to keep my door open all the time and I cannot take that kind of time away because I have to always be present for my team. I would ask you to, to consider this. Do you ever have moments where maybe you're in a meeting with someone else where you are pulled away from your team? Maybe you have a meeting with your boss or maybe you have a department meeting where the team has to figure something else out. If you ever have moments that allow you to be away from the team, I would suggest to you, you have the ability to be away from the team. So I want you to really check your own thinking on this and your mindset about whether or not this is possible. All right, so, so let's just make the assumption that everybody in every role has the ability to take some time for themselves. Let's just say it's a block of 30 minutes. That's all I'm looking for. And I'd like to say that it's 30 minutes at least three times a week. So let's say Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Now, we've got to be able to position that time powerfully because you don't just have this happen because you've chosen to take 30 minutes for yourself here and there. So we've got to figure out the positioning, and that means we've really got to figure out what the rules of the game are for you. So we're going to start with rules of the game first. Now, rules of the game and positioning are actually concepts that underlie so many different strategies in business. So that you're going to start to think of other areas where you're missing rules of the game and you're missing the positioning. It, when it comes to blocking your time, first things first, you've got to set up rules of the game for yourself for how you're going to block that time. So you need to be able to look at your calendar and figure out how often you're going to do this. And as I suggested, 30 minutes three times a week, Quite frankly, if you can't see a way to do that, then you've got to sit down with your boss right now and figure out how you can do it. Because if you don't have 90 minutes in a week to get your work done, that doesn't even make any sense. All right, so 30 minutes, three times a week. That's what we're going for right now. Now, what rules of the game do you set up? Well, first of all, you're going to have to determine where you're going to be able to do this and how you're going to be able to do this. So do you stay in your office environment or is your office environment so open that you're not going to be able to protect that time? So you've got to make some decisions about where are you going to do this work. You have to make decisions for yourself, rules of the game, around 
what are you going to be working on? Because it's not time to just check email. So, you know, when you talk about these 30 minute blocks, they are to work on your priorities, to work on the most important things that you can do in a day. If you waste your 30 minute block answering other people's emails, you're still focusing on their crisis and their urgency, not yours. So you've got to get really committed to and set rules for yourself about what that 30 minutes is set aside for. And you've got to stick to them. So what other rules do you need for yourself? How do I protect myself from distraction? Maybe you need to set a rule to have your cell phone off, to have your email off, to have your email notifications off. And please, if you don't already have those off, turn those off. Those email notifications are just a constant distraction. That's another rule of the game that we'll have to set for later on. How do you deal with emails? But for this 30 minutes, you've got to figure out what would derail you from that and set up rules for yourself. Now, the other rules you have to set up are what are the rules that you have to set up for other people? Because probably the way that you've trained people so far is I'm always available and I'll always be there for you and you can interrupt me anytime you choose. That's at least how most leaders do it. So you've got to reframe this and set some rules around who can, who can come and talk to you during this time and why. So the first answer is you can't come and talk to me during this time because this is my focus time. This is my time to get my work done and I don't ask for much of it, but I need you to support me on this block of time, right? So there's, so you've got to come up with the overall mentality of I'm not going to, I'm not going to be pulled away from this time. But there may be, and especially depending on your role, you all have different roles and there are different urgencies that could arise. You've got to actually clearly define the rules around what those urgencies are. I usually say, don't come to me unless someone's bleeding, you know, because I know in my world, I absolutely have the ability to protect a block of time because I'm not in the medical profession. There is nobody who is going to die if I don't get to them within a half an hour. So you've got to figure out for you, it, here's, here's the rule that I use. If you're in a meeting with your most important client or with the most important person in your company, maybe you're sitting with the CEO for 30 minutes, what would allow a dis disruption from that meeting? What would take you away from that meeting? Nothing short of that should take you away from your meeting with you from your 30 minute focus time. So we're going to treat that 30 minutes as the most important meeting in your day with the most important person who is you. So define those rules of the game and don't worry about not being available for those 30 minutes. I mean, the whole idea is we've got to shift the thinking around that. And let me tell you more about the coaching session to help you get into that mindset. When I asked my client why he's not taking time for himself, he said, well, it's just that I'm constantly being interrupted by my team. You know, they need help with things and I have to be there and be accessible for them. I, I really want to be there to help them. And I said, okay, I understand that. I said, so um, when somebody comes to you, do, do they always, always have justification for coming to you? Or are there some people maybe who are coming to you who really shouldn't be coming to you? And he said, oh, that's a good question. He said, some are really good and they only come to me for, for the right reasons. But he said, you know, I've got some who are just the worst offenders and they come to me all the time and they waste my time. Okay, rules of the game right there. That's a separate co coaching conversation, but really identifying those people on your team who are the quote time wasters of yours. Every time you allow someone to come to you who's coming to you for a frivolous reason or who's wasting your time, they need to be reframed. They need to be repositioned and they need to change their behavior. That's a reflection of your leadership. If you don't redirect poor behavior, and then you keep getting that same poor behavior, that's on you as a leader. So you have to really identify what are those rules of the game that I need to implement. Now, I asked him, so why, why is it important to you to always be there and be available for your team? And he said, well, I would never want anybody to think that I was inaccessible. I would never want to be that kind of leader who you couldn't go to. I said, okay, all right, I get, I get that that's, that's, you know, you want to be someone who's open and available and ready to help at all times. And, and of course that makes sense, except at all times means you can't get your work done. And as a leader, you're leading in many different ways, but number one, you're leading by example. 
And you, if you don't have time to get your work done, what is the impact? And I want you to ask yourself this same question. When I asked him what the impact was of him not getting his work done, he described, described a high level of stress. He described the fact that he's not getting work done, which means he's missing deadlines. He described that he's actually facing failure in certain areas. So you think about how much he's taking on and, and what kind of position does that put him in as a leader? Not so good. So I said, is that really what you want to train your employees to do is never to take time for themselves to get their work done and always be accessible and on demand for anyone for anything? I said, what sort of message are you sending right now about the value of time? And he thought for a minute and he said, I guess I'm sending a message that their time is more valuable than mine. And I said, yeah, I think you are. And I said, and is that really truly the message that you want to send as a leader? And he said, no, I really don't want to send that message. I don't even think that's the correct message. But then he was quick to say, but I don't want anyone to think that my time is more valuable than theirs. I said, okay, that's fine. What message do you want to send? He said, I think we should send a message that our time is equally valuable, that I should respect your time and you should respect mine. So I said, now we're on to something. What rules of the game would you need to set? What sort of example would you need to be to help people understand that everybody in business should have time to focus, to solely focus and not get distracted so that they can get their work done? So I want you to set your rules of the game. I want you to actually use the worksheet that's provided and write down what are the rules that you would come up with? What would you need to do to protect 30 minutes of time? three days a week. Start there. Hopefully you can expand on that. You should be taking 30 minutes of time at least a couple of times a day, at least. So do the work, write down the rules of the game. And in the next module, we're going to be talking about positioning.